Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello to everybody who's watching this online. Uh, this is the Q and A. Thanks for yeah. continuing to watch. Um, I'm Daniel Scheinert. I'm supposed to moderate this Q and A. I did not make the movie you just watched. I made some other movies. Um, and uh, I started making movies in high school, which is why the festival asked me to come and interview our high school filmmaker. Who's here? How do I Hi, pronounce your I'm name? I'm Alive. Alive. Yeah. Yep. Are, are we, are you joining from your bedroom? I am. Yes. Is that I what you were my... when you wrote and edited this movie? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, over at my desk editing all last summer. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what was, what was the timeline? When did you shoot it and when did you edit it? And how, how old were you when you wrote, shot and edited it? Um, so I started when I was 17. I'm 20 now. Um, so uh, it started when I was 17. I think like the spring of that would have been 2018. And uh, it, I started writing it then. But I had come up with the story be like, I don't know, since I was 14, sort of. <laughs> and then, um, so I wrote it in like four months. And then that summer of 2018, until, until the spring of 2019. So pretty much a whole year was filming. Yeah. So it's accurate in the movie when it breaks it up into fall, winter, spring. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was not well, written in. I was like, that was... I need to somehow explain this. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So the continuity. So you shot it in order as well, I assume, since this this seasons went that way. Yeah. I don't know why I did it like that, but it actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I think that's how they shot E.T. So that the, the kid actors would, um, you know, get to know E.T. and then say goodbye to him. So it was probably a gift hey. to, to your huh. actors. You know, you just wanted it to make sense. Yeah. 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 It definitely made more sense that way, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, congratulations. Cool. It's absolutely insane that you made the a feature film and uh, it turned out great. I really, I personally really enjoyed it. And I really? think the people watching this Q&A uh, probably really enjoyed it. Um, so great, congrats. Is this the Thank premiere? You. Yeah, I mean, I had like a family friends one. Um, well, that, means, that means this isn't the premiere. That doesn't, that doesn't count. But that's okay. You know, second premieres are cool too. <laughs> I don't know if oh, that exists. That's, everybody does that everybody like lies about their secret premiere you know so that they can call yeah. it a premiere for ben festival yeah. you know yeah well dude it's super cool that you really liked it because i really like swiss army man <laughs> i've all oh, i've liked you. that movie for a really long time um I like have, i uh, even listen to the soundtrack regularly like <laughs> wow so the pe for people watching i i co-wrote and co-directed that movie swiss army man which is a a farting corpse dramedy um it's it's awesome I love there it. was um, a lot. <laughs> there was a moment like 10 minutes into the film where there was um Finn from Adventure Time on the wall um and uh and then I couldn't stop thinking about Adventure Time was that like a big inspiration for you or is that a coincidence oh yes I so me and like the the guy that plays Pete his name's Caden Quinn um he was like second in command pretty much he was like such a it's like me and him when it comes to like making movies sadly yeah. he's in minnesota right now at school he's so in college. that's depressing but um me and him yeah uh we like binge watch adventure time and actually a lot of the guys that were in the movie it's just like a childhood show and it really like i i love it a lot and that really inspired a lot of the like way i think about a lot of things i guess but wow yeah had included i guess i um <laughs> I, I'm a huge fan as well, but I didn't discover it till I was, you know, college. So it wasn't supposed to be oh, the yeah. audience. And I, I always watched it and wondered like, what kinds of kids is this show going to create? Uh, and yeah. I, I, I guess it uh, created kids like you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm, that's great. I think it's like, it's such a, um, uh, I would think a, so, yeah. an inventive show. Um. Rock and yeah, roll. It's is seriously is. And it's, yeah. I love it. I think you did a good job of yeah. pulling off um, a live action version of that kind of humor. Um, and 
you know, oh, really? combining a lot Sweet. of genres similar to that show. Yeah. Well, that's cool to hear. Yeah. I, it, it, I don't think I was thinking about it being an inspiration, but you know, you make what you love pretty much, I guess. Totally. You know, yeah. It just happens. <laughs> um, other, 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 uh, movies that like really inspired you, um, or real life experiences that really inspired you when you were writing and making this? Yeah. So, um, I guess, so I realized early on that I couldn't do like 3D animation because my computer's like a 2015 MacBook Pro. So I was like, all right, what do I have? And I've drawn since I was like really little. So I started thinking about like movies that I just loved like the um, comic book feel and Scott Pilgrim versus the world was one of those. So that kind of, became how like I did a lot of like the wizard um, animation stuff is I just drew frame by frame and then edited it in and it worked really well for the I think and uh, I agree yeah. for the uh, real life um, um, inspiration it was definitely like just like what we would call like the group of bros um, mm -hmm. since we've, we've, all those guys are like my best pals and we've hung out since we were, you know, six, uh, you know, second grade, first grade. And, yeah. uh, and it was just like a really tight connection. And since they were in the movie, I kind of was like, this can't be about like anything else really. So that was like the central aspect. And I think, I think a lot of them, um, I think that it makes it more meaningful, meaningful for them. It definitely is for me, but uh, so that was like probably the biggest real life inspiration. So yeah, is uh, yeah, it's kind of like the surprise. It's like the secret narrative underneath the movie is that you can just tell you guys are all best friends, and that like <laughs> for me watching, it's like oh, this whole movie is just an ode to you know childhood best friends, you know, um, uh -huh. and you kind of you definitely can tell that you didn't just cast uh randos no yeah and i knew that a lot of them like weren't actors so mm -hmm. i was like okay i have to write every single one of their characters like a heightened version of them so that's what you're seeing pretty much totally like caleb the guy that plays abel you know mm -hmm. you meet him and he like is wearing you know work boots he's a big bigger guy he's like likes manual labor is like works out all the time so i was like all right he, he, he likes the manly tough tough guy stuff um, yeah and then walt um brand and draper is the guy that plays him and yeah he's it just like he sucks at really he's really good at acting walt so it was good <laughs> who was um <laughs> what's your relation with some of the other actors that you got in there? Like um, the old man that has you clean out his barn. Oh yeah. Uh, I can see his house neighbor and he, uh, his name's Fred. Um, he is just like a super cool dude. And he also can't, he doesn't, no, I don't think what acting is. Like, I'll try. Ended up working out. <laughs> it, all right, yeah. the fun. It's so funny. I laugh so hard when I see it. But when he's like finishes his line and he's like closing the door, it was just like, like God's hand was on the situation because he didn't look at the camera. He was looking at me and the rest of the guys. Like, did I get it? As he's like closing the door and then he closes it and I was like, yes, he didn't look at the camera. It worked so well. It was so yeah. funny. I, so yeah, it's that's I, it's it's a funny moment, but that's some of my favorite stuff is when you manage to get a person who's actually just real life interesting and sneak them into a movie. Um and it and and he really jumped out at, uh -huh. me, at me. I was like, who's that man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I really I great. enjoyed doing that. Yeah. You did. Um have your parents seen the movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, right they at have. the family and friends. Um, mm -hmm. How do they? How do they feel about all the car stunts? Um, did you get in trouble at all when they saw it? No, 
Um, my so my dad is a car car guy, hundred percent. He owns like an automotive repair shop and stuff. And that Mazda is yeah. like his high school car that he drove. Whoa. And also like a lot of his friends drove it. So it has a lot of sentimental value to him. So that's like his favorite part of the movie is that I included that. And uh, I mean, I did have to redent the ceiling back and um, <laughs> because we were all standing on it. But yeah, now I, I drove it when I was like, first got my license and now my sister who is 16 is driving it right now and we're going to drive it to the the drive-in showing which is tonight so that'll be fun um, <laughs> yeah yeah it's a beautiful car i did uh, <laughs> yeah i was nervous for you guys when you uh ran over your friend <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that that was fun <laughs> so nobody got nobody got hurt when they fell off nobody the got bridge hurt. uh none of that that's good um yeah uh falling off the bridge that's my younger brother my younger younger brother my younger first like uh the one right below me his name's mm-hmm. jonas and he is super good at like the active like if i need him to get punched or like do some crazy stunt so he was balls of o most of the time i was gonna ask the i thought the um that performance of the villain was uh epic so that's your brother yeah that's my brother mm-hmm. wow he did really good yeah that action scene is um is great uh just fighting across multiple rooms and stuff like was it hard to keep oh, track, yeah. track of it all or um um it wasn't super hard to keep track of it i guess i kind of that it was daunting though i guess yeah it was difficult because i had like i was like how am i gonna film a fight sequence like how does that even work and Mm -hmm. it was really cold out because it was in the middle of winter and we like spent like three or four whole days just like almost like four hour five hours outside just like going over and over again like um and until until you know each day everyone would get grumpy enough that i couldn't force them to do it anymore <laughs> yeah that's how that's how it works when you can't pay people is you just, it's just like you, you you just wait until they quit like, yeah done for the day they were so nice to me to go through that though because it was cold and it sucked it wasn't the most fun i was enjoying it but is there anybody <laughs> um that you want to give a shout out to right now that like uh was especially helpful in making this movie happen like the the secret weapon person mm. my parents were super encouraging and helpful um yeah they i didn't have a job all last summer and i just like my mom's yelling at me right now yeah there she is uh <laughs> um so I didn't have a job I just edited all summer and and a lot of people were like that's really stupid but like my parents were like that's okay keep going and that was really cool um just like I guess the uh Jalen and Eric Rice Jalen and Eric yeah yeah they uh that's so valuable I I had the same thing Mm -hmm. where like uh instead of working at the grocery store my parents let me shoot some movies and uh it's it's so important you know to have that extra time if you're uh gonna try to make a movie that's incredible yeah yeah other than them it's just like the guys that were in it because i just feel like really blessed that they took so many weekends and just like to film a stupid video i guess it 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 means a lot to me so in that sense i dedicated the whole thing to them obviously because it's about them sort of yeah so yeah. yeah. So you got to like capture them all in a feature film and then go to college. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I, 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 for the rest of my life, this movie will be even, I like may not be like super grand, but it means a lot to me and hopefully means a lot to them. So that's all that really matters. Yeah. I, ne- I didn't go into, into it with any expectations of anything. I just knew that I had to do it 
And then it later on halfway through, I was like, okay, this is actually like turning into a mean, meaningful, like thing for me and hopefully them. So yeah, those two things are good enough for me. Rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you, uh, so what are you going to do next? Like if, uh, if someone gave you $200 million to make whatever movie you want, do you know what you would do with it? Yes. Yes, I, w- I do. So um Oh, actually, which one to choose? I have a lot of movies, but um, one that I have like most of my mindset on right now is, um, and I plan to make a short version of it next summer. Me and Caden Quinn, when he comes mm-hmm. back from college, we're gonna like ha- just film all summer, I guess. Um, it's so it's a uh, pretty much about two bum outs that are in the future that are forced to get jobs, um, and they so they go. And they get a job at a pizza delivery service, but it's an intergalactic pizza delivery service. Mm-hmm. So they have like, it's a spaceship. Well, they have to get trained in this. So there's this like old grumpy dude. And he's like, I, he has to train them in like flying the ship and doing, doing the stuff. And he uh, goes, they're just kind of start goofing off the, and getting to know each other, the two guys. And their boss takes a nap and he likes to take a nap in a, like a, a pizza, like time freezer. So like pizza doesn't go bad. He likes to take a nap in that because I don't know, I'll figure out reasons, but they accidentally eject him from the ship. So it's them trying to get their boss back before he wakes up and figures out what's going on. So they chase him across the galaxy. Right. That's pretty do much you, the idea. Do you know what it's going to be called? An intergalactic pizza delivery movie? Uh, no, it, at the moment, it's just called Moss and Kidwell. Our, all of our rock and roll idea pages and stuff. Yeah, it, it'll be like an 80s, you know, spaceship movie, I guess. All the props will be pretty junky, clunky old things that I make. <laughs> it'll probably include stop motion. So maybe that'll be... <laughs> Maybe yeah. that'll be done in time for 2021 Ben Fest or 2022. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But that's the that's the plan right now is to get uh, that made. Um, well, we'll uh, we'll wrap up this Q&A uh, for anyone um, watching. So we keep it under 20 minutes. Uh, any any last things you want to say to anybody who watched the movie online? Um, pretty much. I uh, probably. I hope you liked it and uh, don't for people who haven't seen it don't expect too much I like to call it like a trashy like teenage garage um, music video you know it's kind of just yeah enjoy it for what it is I guess <laughs> I, I bet I bet they did um, <laughs> yeah well, that's good well it's it's nice to meet you uh, digitally yeah, it's nice to meet you too and uh, yeah. thanks everybody for watching online. Yeah, thanks.